I don't know if you saw the news yesterday in San Francisco. Kate Steinle's murderer has been declared not guilty. Multiple felon and five-time deportee killed the 32-year-old woman over two years ago, but her family will never see justice. The California state government has made a complete mockery of the justice system on multiple levels. Answer me this, San Francisco. Help me out. I can't seem to wrap my brain around this. How can a man fire a gun into a group of people, kill a woman, then throw the murder weapon into the ocean, get caught fleeing the scene, and get off scot-free? Help me, help, help, help me out. I, I don't understand your definition of law and order. What was the prosecution doing during this case? The killer admitted that he fired the gun. The only case the defense had was this was an accident. This was an accident? Oh, I picked up the gun and it just went off. Uh, the old Comey Hillary Clinton defense of I don't think they meant it. You know, the no ill intent thing, which I thought, Stu, didn't we just discover yesterday from Al Franken? Al Franken. Yeah. Doesn't matter what your intent is. I'm sorry. A, I kind of need consistency. And uh, B, I don't think this is good enough. At the very least, he should have gotten involuntary manslaughter. That's what happens when you make a mistake with a gun. You get involuntary manslaughter. Did the prosecution not care? Did they not read that part of the law? Are they completely incompetent? If you live in these sanctuary cities in California, how can you ever feel safe? You're already mostly forbidden from protecting yourself. The gun laws are among the strictest in the country. But not only that, the government of California has now shown that they cannot protect you either. ICE has declared they will deport this murderer yet again. But we all know it won't matter. He'll come right back. And the state of California not only won't do a thing about it, but they will welcome him with open arms. Now, the killer didn't get off completely unscathed. They did actually nail him for something. It wasn't murder. It wasn't manslaughter. It wasn't illegally being in the country. The new crime on his rap sheet is illegal possession of a firearm. Wait. What? If that doesn't say it all, I don't know what does. For the leftist, blaming the criminal always runs second to the gun. The killer is innocent. It is the gun that is guilty. One final question for the justice system in California. If the shooter would have been a white person and the victim an immigrant, in legal or illegal, would the verdict be the same? I saw this yesterday afternoon and I just could not believe it. To summarize, you, just, you don't like immigrants, basically? Is that the... <laughs> yeah, that's what it is. Okay. okay that's what it seemed like there uh, as, uh, as you went through that. It's an amazing case. Uh, you know, it's funny because we went through, she was sort of like the example of what really can go wrong with illegal immigration. And, you know, there wasn't much discussion over whether he was guilty or not. I don't think anyone.